in this skit, the team is several cycles in. So they finished a few iterations, and they're doing a retrospective on their last iteration. You'll hear references to additional members of the team. We didn't have people to be on camera, so you're just gonna see these three folks, even though I would normally recommend that you have everybody on your core team in these retrospectives. All right, team, thanks for getting together again today. Uh, we're here to do a retrospective on our uh, last sprint. Uh, we want to talk about what we think we should keep doing, what we should change and do better. Um, everyone makes mistakes. The point of this meeting is not to point the finger and blame each other. We just want to have a productive discussion about our approach um, and see if we can refine and improve. Um, I'll start. Uh, the product owner uh, role is, is starting to take up more and more of my time. It's probably 75% at this point. Um, I'm still doing the testing piece. I've been staying pretty late. Um, and I think for more rapid scaling as we move forward, we ought to think about how we're going to, um, you know, add some testing, uh, you know, further testing capability. Um, so, Shri, wanted to talk to you about whether or not you thought we should hire someone, whether you think we should maybe go with an outsource option. I found an agency that can do some testing for us. Um, so, what do you think? Um, we definitely want to hire someone. Um, but. I think we should do an on-site hire. We really want a tester who is here in person. Um, testing is pretty complicated, um, or more complicated than it seems, and we want to test at the lowest possible level, um, just so we don't want to catch something that too far along during functional testing that we could have caught way earlier during unit testing. Um, and it's pretty good to work with someone who's on-site rather than off-site. Okay, but you still want to hire someone? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, since automation has been up with the one tester that we have, another developer would actually be better than another tester. Oh, are you sure about that? Um, no, I'm not certain, but we'll have to see. Um, in about two weeks, honestly, I think that when we've gotten a lot more automation, we'll probably do just fine with just one tester. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so another question I have for you. Velocity overall is up. You know, we haven't seen much of an increase in the last two weeks. Do you think we've plateaued at this point? No, I don't think so. I think things are actually improving. I mean, we've had a lot more bugs um, in the velocity, but it seems like uh, a lot of them might be due to like little refinements or tunings that we need to make. Okay. Well, my fault on the tracking. We'll get that fixed. Um, what do you think is causing more bugs and refinements? Is, stress, is testing struggling? I honestly don't know. Um, no, testing is doing pretty well. You know, if I had to guess, it's just that the words out, more of the techs are using the software, mm -hmm. so we're just... We're going to get more suggestions, we're going to see more bugs. Right. Okay, well that makes sense. We haven't looked at the data recently, but uh, we should probably do that at the end of the cycle to validate that hypothesis and you know track our ratio of bugs to usage somehow. Um, Shri, any issues? Um, no, things are going well. I've spent a lot less time with Scrum Master, and I think that's because everyone's just doing a really good job of working independently. Great. Um, I can see a lot more potential for our work, though, um, but I think I'm going to let everyone continue with their self-organizing and independent work okay. before I decide to make any changes. Okay. Well, now the part ordering is looking good. You know, the big thing will be trying out our problem scenarios from, from dispatch. Uh, Shri, what do you think there? Um, well, it looks like the inputs from dispatch seem a little light and uncertain. It's like the problem scenarios and user stories just aren't as strong as they once were. Yeah, no, I, t I totally agree. And I think what we should do is get out, do another design sprint, and um, take everyone out in the field for observation so we can tighten up our problem scenarios. That's a good idea. Do we take everybody, the whole team? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, the developers could be working on refactoring or they could be like helping with the technical debt, but honestly, I had so much like a good experience during the uh, at, in the field, so mm -hmm. I think everyone should go. Okay, cool. Well, that's it for me. Are there any other outstanding items? Not on my no, end. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, great.